Once you enter LV or medium voltage, I mean, it really depends when you're going to need this, you will want to upgrade your steam production to a large bronze boiler. Those small little one block ones just probably won't be cutting it. At medium voltage, you may even want multiple of these. And you're going to want to keep them around for the later ages when you get oil for oil cracking. But enough on that for now. So how do we make the large bronze boiler and how does it work? Well, it's one of the multi blocks you'll be making. On the bottom layer, you want five bronze firebox casings, and then you're going to want your ins and outs. So, what are they? Well, they're going to be your maintenance hatch. This is where you can click with a tool, as shown, it'll be over here, um, to repair any maintenance issues that may come up. And then you need your inputs and outputs. Remember, input hatches are for liquids, and buses are for items. So just like the smaller steam um, boiler, we're going to put into the input bus, which is for items, remember, coal to actually, you know, use as a fuel for um, our steam production. And I'm just going to put in loads of blocks here. Now, remember, an ultra low voltage input bus will only have one slot. An LV input bus will actually have four slots, etc. In the input hatch, I'm putting water. And in the output hatch, of course, that is where our steam will come out of. And I'm using a large bronze fluid pipe to do that. If you're wondering what the hell is going on here, it's our muffler hatch, and this is where you get your waste coming out. So on the bottom row, you're going to have an input hatch and an input bus. On the second row, you will have an output hatch. On the bottom row, you will have a muffler hatch. Five firebox casings, so that's including in the middle of the structure. And on the second row, you have a large bronze boiler. I'm going to show you over here. So on the second row, you'd have it like this. And in the middle, in fact, I might just break this. Oops! You're actually going to have bronze pipe casings in the middle, like one, two. So like that goes in the middle, and then you surround it with these steam machine casings. Um, so it would be like this. And then you cover it on top. So there's two rows, or two height, of bronze pipe casings in the middle. I'm trying to show you this, because I actually got really confused making this. I don't know why. I've done it again in the morning, the next day filming this, and it's absolutely fine. Um, but yes, yeah, so you've got your bronze boiler on the second row. Five firebox casings in the bottom, two pipe casings in the middle here. The uh, the top is completely covered, etc., etc. And you know you've done it right because it'll all turn the same colour. Inside we can modify the throttle, um, which you know increases how much you're making, etc. But it's gonna, um, it's it's gonna. Um, what, what am I saying? <laughs> it, it's going to make more but burn more fuel at the higher you put up that throttle. Um, and what I'm doing is I'm putting it into an advanced steam turbine generator. So if you are in MV, you can get an advanced version. And then, so you've actually got, you know, your basic gas part turbine generator making LV 32 EU per tick. The advanced version, which is really only going to be using good integrated circuits that you get at MV, and an MV machine hull using aluminum, which you can just mine up, um, and wrought iron. There's nothing really crazy coming on here. At HV, you will be able to then get a second one making 512 EU a tick, which is the HV voltage, and way, way later, there is um, a large steam turbine, but obviously that's way later. And don't forget, I did say that you will be using this for oil cracking later on as well, so don't feel like you um, are going to only be using this temporarily. You're not. But that is how you do the large bronze boiler. So we can get on to much more exciting things in Greg Tech at MV. I hope you did enjoy the video. Click that subscribe button if you did, and of course, leave a thumbs up. If you're looking for other mod guides, I do a hell of a lot on this channel. My actual goal on this channel is to complete every major mod in the entirety of Minecraft for Forge, Fabric, etc. If you look at my channel, I have a tech mod shelf, a magic mod shelf, a utility and standalone mod shelf, so ones that aren't in playlists. I also have now mod pack guides as a shelf. So at the moment, I am live streaming through RLCraft. And you can get that, of course, on my lives. I, sh I live every Wednesday and Saturday. And you can always see when the next scheduled stream is. And I play through the mod pack. And then I will also do separate guides on that mod pack. So if you are looking for specific mod packs, or you just want to come along and ask me some questions or hang out, you can also do that there. Do also just use the search bar uh, if you are looking for a specific mod. And if you'd like to play with me, the mod pack that I do live stream, I do from our Patreon server, which of course you can join down below, which would massively support the channel, but also gets you access to things like that.